Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Ryan Turley here. Thanks so much for checking out this video. I'm starting a new series, 30 Minute Meals, perfect for weekdays, perfect for families. And today we're starting off with a honey soy salmon bowl. It's super easy to make and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it right now. Let's start this dish out by cooking our rice. And be sure to rinse and scrub your rice two to three times until the water runs clear to make Uncle Roger proud. Just look at the difference from the first to the third rinse. It removes so much starch and makes a huge difference in the final product. And I'm using my Zojiroshi rice cooker, which I absolutely love, if you can't already tell, from my white boy dance. And I'll leave a link to the rice cooker in the description of this video. Now I know I told you this is a 30 minute meal and the rice cooker did say it takes about an hour, but from this point forward, from start to finish it really is 30 minutes and while that rice cooker does what it does best we prepare our salmon let's start by patting our salmon dry these fillets are skinless but feel free to leave the skin on if you prefer and now we cut the fillets into one inch cubes so everything cooks quickly and evenly next we add our salmon cubes to a large bowl followed by one third cup soy sauce one third cup honey and work that honey until your vessel is dry and next we mince four to five garlic cloves and a couple teaspoons of ginger i'm using a micro plane for this which happens to be one of my other favorite kitchen tools and if you don't already have one I'll be sure to link one in the description as well and we finish this marinade off with about a teaspoon of onion powder and a tablespoon of crushed red pepper flakes now very gently mix until everything is incorporated making sure to keep the salmon intact and set aside and while all those flavors get to know each other let's prepare our toppings mandatory sliced green onion I brought in my sous chef Soleil and Zane to help me out with this step and my son Zane is still in that discovery phase. He gave some green onions a shot. That's a no-go. I can't blame him though. Who likes plain green onions anyway? Now we make some spicy mayo. Super simple, just two ingredients. This is QP mayo, a Japanese mayo. You could use regular mayo as well. And then we add some sriracha. This is about a half a cup of mayo to a quarter cup of sriracha. We stir to combine, set that aside as well, and we prepare a cucumber. You can really chop this up however you want, but I removed the seeds and went with two to three inch batonets or matchsticks. Now for the avocado, we simply slice in half, remove the seed and peel, then we slice into eighth of an inch sections and set aside. All right, we're just about finished here. The last and most easy step is to cook our salmon. In an on-stick pan over medium heat, we add our salmon and all the marinade. And after only about two to three minutes on the first side, we flip each one of our salmon cubes and let that go for another two to three minutes. I did turn the heat down right at the end and poured over some of that amazing sauce onto each one of those cubes. And that's pretty much it. This dish is so easy to make, and as you can see, full of flavor. And at this point, our rice is done cooking, so the only thing left to do is assemble our honey soy salmon bowl. First, let's pack our rice into a small bowl. Then we invert that into a larger bowl. Add a handful of our honey soy salmon bites. Top with our sliced avocado, sliced cucumber, sliced green onion, spicy mayo, sesame seeds, and optionally, but also completely required in our household, some spicy chili crisp. And that is it. This dish hits all the taste buds. I will definitely be making this again, and I'd love to hear if you try it. Now let's give it a taste. Mm. Wow, I can't believe that only took 30 minutes. Mm. All right guys, come and eat. Hey, thanks so much for checking out this video. If you're still watching, it would mean so much to me if you like this video. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel and turn on those post notifications so you don't miss another upload. I plan on getting back into the swing of things and posting more long form content like this every week. So we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.